After watching this video, you will know how to design and estimate the coupling capacitor network by simulation LT spice. Remember that this network is always LC network. Let us start and have a successful day with EMC. Before we discuss full decoupling capacitor network with ideal component and real component, let us discuss how divide any decoupling capacitor networks according to frequency and how the equivalent circuits for each part of the coupling network looks like. I prepare two two capacitor network with ideal source and 100 nano and 10 nano capacitor with parasitics, high frequency inductance equivalent circuit with both inductor in parallel, low frequency capacitance equivalent circuit with both capacitors in parallel, and anti resonance equivalent circuit when you have two inductors together in series in parallel to two capacitors together in series. Let us see results. For now, let's leave only the main circuit. So we have voltage of our two capacitor decoupling network, but this voltage corresponds to impedance because we have only one ampere here. So if we divide by current, we will have impedance, but the values will be the same. So how we can divide this decoupling network into parts? Low frequency part starts when impedance is going low until first resonance. Then we are in the mid frequency part between first resonance and last resonance. This part will consist of all resonances and all anti resonances and high frequency part after last resonance will be this part when the decoupling network is intact. Let us see low frequency capacitance equivalent circuit will take all our capacitors regardless how many we have them 1, 2, 3, 4 or let's say 10, 30, doesn't matter. We will put them together in parallel and we will get this line. You can see that this line aligns nicely with our main two capacitors circuit until the first capacitor, the higher value capacitor 100 nano, it's a lower above 1 MHz. You can lower low frequency part by adding more capacitors. Let's see now anti resonance equivalent circuit when we have both inductors in series and both capacitors also in series parallel to the inductors. What we can see that anti-resonance equivalent circuits resonance is aligned with our anti-resonance for our two capacitors network. The peak difference is because of our ESR this is lowering our anti-resonance, but also making resonance going until the ESR. You want to lower anti-resonance as much as you can or omit this by choosing different clock frequency at harmonics will not be at anti-resonance frequency but you can have always noise same frequency as anti-resonance that's why it's better to lower anti-resonance in reality in the real circuit it will be always lower because we will have some amount of resistance let us check high frequency part high frequency part is very important because it helps us to decouple hundreds of megahertz and also decouple frequency in gigahertz range by lowering the inductance. 
will have more inductance in parallel, will have a lower impedance in high frequency bandwidth. Before we jump to next simulation, let's see results together. Starting from our main circuit, we have two dips and one peak. We have our low frequency part, mid frequency part with anti resonance, and high frequency part that is inductive. Now let us discuss more typical the coupling capacitors network consists of four capacitors. I prepared three circuits. First, without the coupling as a reference, but with interconnection parasitics and IC parasitics from IBIS model. Second circuit, four capacitor different values with capacitor take it apart and parasitics third circuit with capacitors same value 100 nano farad let's see results only reference I divided here by current, but this is not needed. Current is one amp. This is our circle. Without the coupling, we can see that impedance is increasing in reference to ground, and we don't have any decoupling. Then let's see. Four cut the coupling network, and we can divide it by current to have impedance value but those will not change. You can see that our low frequency part not so white and our mid frequency part is starting before 1 MHz going to 7 MHz and ending around 225 MHz and then our high frequency part start. We have four dips because we have four different capacitors values and we have three anti-resonance because between each dips pair we have one anti-resonance. As you can see for four capacitors same value we have only one dip we don't have anti-resonance above 200 kilos value is lower lower frequency of its resonance and then it starts high frequency part after Four point sixty four megahertz, and you can see that anti resonances are higher than high frequency part of last circuit, and we could choose which circuit is better according to any project design. Now let us discuss four capacitors decoupling network but with models downloaded from Murata website. I prepared three circuits with no capacitor, with four capacitors take it apart from 100 nanofarad to 100 picofarad with the rating 5 volts 50 degrees and third circuit with 100 nanofarad four times. In between each cap, I added cap to cap inductance, and this will have influence on our results. For the beginning, our cap to cap inductance is zero 
nanochemii. Let's see results. As previous, our circuit with no decoupling capacitors is intact after 1 MHz and both circuits with four capacitors, same value in different values, are capacitive until thirty megahertz. You can see that four capacitors, same value, are lower than circuit with capacitors, different values. The difference is not so big as previous because of internal parasitics. Let us see what happens when I increase the inductance between capacitors. Let's put very small amount, 0 0.1 nano Henry. We can see that difference is increasing and our date is lower for capacitors with the same value. Let's put now 0 0.5 nano. We got a very small peak here, but our deep our resonance is much lower from 100 milli for four cups different value to lower than one milli. And if we put one nano Henry here, we are very low with our resonance for capacitors same value but circuit with capacitor different value is around 100 milli ohm. This could have much higher difference depends on the model of capacitor. For higher value capacitor the difference will be bigger because of higher parasitics. The coupling capacitor network is always LC network. I see parasitics will influence this network that you cannot change, then your interconnection parasitics can be minimized by placing the coupling capacitor correctly, typically close to your RC, and between your capacitors you can have also parasitics that you can change by changing your layout. Always simulate the coupling capacitors with parasitics. Consider the coupling network with capacitors different values or with capacitors same values. This concludes my video. If you want to support me, subscribe. I will try to add more regularly videos on EMC topics with simulations. See you next time. Bye.